All right. Hey, Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai Bahashem. Rakakwadash. Peace and mercy to the true house of David. Um, to the man, woman, and children that Yahweh Shai is having mercy on. You know, I just had a couple words before I go into the plantation. Um, on the behalf of the house of David. You know, and pretty much, you know, the hot topic that's been going around right now is the search of David you know and and that, that's heavy in itself when you really think about it because yeah I was shy he revealed he had to reveal to us that we're in the new covenant and now that we know that we're in the new covenant guess what brothers are looking within themselves because that's where the power is you know most of my lessons and the little clips that I that I put on my channel is to get you brothers to understand you only have the power um this is why with the house of david coming out you notice you know what these scribes and these pharisees what these guys go into with just they're, they're trying to go into esau they're trying to go into vocab they're doing all this crap because that's another way of keeping your mind off what's really happening like i'm talking about the true prophecies you know which is david being searched out now one thing about David, right? That title is a reverence title. I mean, you got to understand, our people, they love they love David back then. They love him now. Because what was David doing? He was going in and out from among Israel, slaying the Philistines. He slayed Goliath, you know? He was a champion. So, you know, you're going to have many people try to take on that title. Um, because, like I said, it's a reverence title. But David, he's going to be revealed. You know what I'm saying? Elijah, he's 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 going to be revealed. Um, all the prophets, Jeremiah, Elisha, so on and so forth. A lot of the prophets are back here today. That's what you got to understand. And guess what? Most of the prophets are being hated on. A lot of the prophets are, are, are coming out from these camps. Are you going to have a few brothers that are sincere up in there? That that, that is going to take time, but they're going to be pulled out? Yes. But it's concerning like the the vast majority of these camps. These elders, a lot of these guys are gonna are gonna die on the side. They're not gonna make it in. Just like in the time of the wilderness. You know, they 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 were walking around in circles. They didn't make it in. Alright? The, the the generation that came after them, they're the ones that made it in. So the brothers that were coming in at the last hour, um, the Lord he's having mercy on them. Okay? So let me let me get this scripture real quick. All right, so this is a uh, Second Samuel chapter three, and uh, let me start at verse one. It says, "Now there was a long war between the house of Saul and the house of David, but David waxed stronger and stronger." So one thing you're gonna recognize um, concerning the house of David. And even David himself, they're going to be waxing stronger and stronger. That's one of the prophecies um, that will be taking place. Now, even though this was back then, the true house of David, they still have that regal um, authority in this time. So the Lord, he was always dealing with David. So he's going to be dealing with the house of David right now. Okay. It said David waxed stronger and stronger. And the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker. And that's another characteristic because the Lord, he's not dealing with the house of Saul. He's not, you, you have many houses within Israel. You got the house of Caleb. You got the house of Eli. You got the house of Saul. And I'm sure there's many more out there. But as concerning for right now, the Lord, he's only dealing with David, King David, uh, the house of David, man. Okay. Right. And, and and ultimately that's why this fighting and all this crap is going on. And because it's all prophetic, it's all spiritual. When David was getting the power, what was also happening with Saul? He was losing the power. Okay, Saul he, he had an evil spirit on him. You see what I'm saying? And through the spirit, that's what's happening to guys. They're being uh plagued. You know, they're being plagued by these demons, man. And ultimately the Lord is not dealing with the majority of our people. So, 
David is being searched out for. David is being searched out for, okay? And the Lord, he's building up the tabernacle of David, man. Um, and, and, and the spiritual power that we really have in us is, is only going to increase. Like, what David's going to be doing... The Lord, he's going to reveal David in a major way. I can I can just tell through the spirit. He's going to reveal David in a major way. Um, and he's going to give him that power. The same thing with us. Like we have a, we only have the Holy Spirit. But the Lord, he's going to turn it up so much to the point that it's going to manifest in the physical realm. You know what I'm saying? That's why you have these different movies, such as the X-Men, such as the Marvel, such as the Eternals. You know, all these different characters are really... They, they got that from the scriptures that's talking about the true house of david okay that's what we're going to receive now it starts right now with you renewing your mind understanding we are in that new covenant understanding that you have to get yourself right in the spirit in this time a lot of guys don't want to get themselves right but they want to receive what the men that are getting themselves right are going to receive and it, it don't it don't work like that it don't work like that man all right All right, so 2 Samuel chapter 23 and verse 8, right? It says, These be the names of the mighty men whom David had, the Tashmonite that sat in the, in the seat, chief among the captains, the same was Adino, the Esnite. He lifted up his spear against 800 whom he slew at one time. And after him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Elohite, one of the three mighty men with David, when they defied the Philistines that were gathered together to battle, and the men of Israel were gone away. He arose and smote the Philistines until his hand was weary, and his hand clave unto the sword, and the Lord wrought a great victory that day, and the people returned after him only to the spoil. So the man that was also with David, their heart was willing to, they were willing to die for David that's how because they seen um that David was going to be the next king all right so they were willing to give their their, their life for David man that's the same characteristic they're going to have in this time the true man of David um that's why the Lord the scriptures talk about those that were in depth you know brothers that were in depth brothers that were discontented they're gathering themselves um uh, without the camps without Israel man because when David was on the run, who was in power? Saul. You see? Before David even won that physical crown, he was being led by the spiritual crown. So that's the same thing with us. We're being led by that spiritual crown. So it says, And after him was Shammai, the, the son of Agi, the, the Herotite, and the Philistines were gathered together into a troop. There was a piece of ground full of lentils. And the people fled from the Philistines. But he stood in the midst of the ground and defended it. And slew the Philistines. And the Lord wrought a great victory. And three of the thirty chiefs went down and came to David in the harvest time unto the cave of Adullam. And the troop of the Philistines pissed in the valley of Rephim. And David was, was then in a hold. And the garrison of the Philistine was then in Bethlehem. And David longed and said, Oh, that one will give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. All right. And the three mighty men break through the host of the Philistines and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem. That was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. Nevertheless, he will not drink thereof, but poured it out to the Lord. For he said, Be it far from me, O Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that I should do this. Is not this the blood of the men that went in jeopardy of their lives? Therefore he will not drink it. These things did these three mighty men. <sighs> You're going to see some power in these last days. I'm telling you, we only have spiritual power. I only have spiritual power. I know what I can do. You see? 
and it's only going to be increased so you brothers out there and i just had these couple of words that i wanted to say um stay strong man you know um it's only it's only w's uh, uh from this point on is this you know we already got the victory Yahweh said he, he already went up on that cross. We 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 accepted Yahweh Shai's new covenant. That is the victory, man. So I know brothers are going through stuff, brothers are dealing with stuff. Don't even stress about it. You know? The Lord He got us, man. And He's only gonna keep on guiding us and leading us in this evil demonic time. Alright. And uh pretty much with that, Shalom.